Thanks, Anthony. In other news now, according to a new poll, half of women don't feel comfortable leaving their home without makeup. The poll conducted by the Renfrew Center Foundation found that 16% of women feel unattractive when they're not wearing makeup. 14% say they feel self-conscious. And another 14% say they feel naked without it. Time for health news. Group discounts to, uh, believe it or not, surgeries topping mm -hmm. our health news tonight. Beatrice, you're here all about it. I can't believe that we actually can get discounts on plastic surgery. It's one thing to think about getting discounts on tanning or yeah. laser hair removal, but surgery is something that definitely sounds odd. And we're talking about cosmetic enhancement surgery. Serious surgeries, including breast augmentation and liposuction. Excuse me, $700? I don't think so. It's a tongue-in-cheek way to get attention, and it's the newest addition to discount websites. Socially Sexy Deals is the world's first uh, dedicated cosmetic enhancement deal site that uh, focuses on offering uh, elective uh, medical cosmetic procedures. And essentially, we work with uh, plastic surgeons, cosmetic dentists, and cosmetic dermatologists. The website promises deals on various services, including eyelash enhancement and facial fillers, but also surgeries, such as breast augmentation and facelifts, performed by board-certified plastic surgeons. It has to be anywhere from 25 to 50 percent max. That would be realistic as far as the expectations for surgical deals. Now, when you're talking about non-surgical, which are beauty-related, it could be weight loss, it could be a hair salon, uh, it could be those types of services. You can expect up to 90% off of uh, those types of services. Dr. Colin Hong is the only Toronto area doctor offering services through the website right now. With a little bit of um, discount that they could um, uh, basically sign on and, and be able to uh, um, have their dream realized a little sooner. But he says buying the coupon is just one step. If the patient isn't or the client isn't really a candidate for whatever they want to do, they really shouldn't have the surgery and they should be able to get the refund from, from, uh, from the site. When a breast augmentation, for example, costs between six and $11,000, a $1,000 discount can be tempting. But some plastic surgeons say patients really need to do their own research. Clearly it's an attempt to drum up business. When patients put their life on the line, I think you should make sure that the surgeon is well qualified to do what they're doing, not that the clinic is offering the best deal. I think the key is when you wake up after the surgery and you look in the mirror, you want to say, good job. You don't want to say, uh, well, at least I got a good deal. Now, it may seem odd to discount surgery, but there are no rules against it. The College of Physicians and Surgeons of Ontario says it's fine, as long as the patients are given sufficient information to make an informed choice without financial penalty, and that the physicians are appropriately selecting patients and they discuss the risks and the benefits. And you've looked further and effective, a bit of a caveat for anyone who might be interested. Well, if you do uh, get one of these coupons, you have to use it within a year, and you also have to have your consultation within the first 30 days, because that's the period during which you can have it refunded. And okay. the reality is there's only one doctor right now signed up with the with the site, and there's no way that he'll get through the 250 vouchers allotted in 30 days. Now we know. All right. Thanks very much, B. You're welcome. Coming up.